Uh, there's a place in your house where it's cool to chill, get some me time or even cook a meal. It's your kitchen mofo, ain't no time to slack, so just grab yourself a penny and let's work that ass. If you're scared of this place, ain't no need to bother, just lay down your weapons and pick up another. Hi guys, how's it going? Welcome to my Virgin Kitchen. Today it's a really special video because I'm trying to make a sticky toffee pudding. It's not my recipe, it's from a restaurant in London called Wallace & Co. This is their website there, go check it out, etc, etc. I subscribe to their newsletter each month and one month that came through it had this sticky toffee pudding on and I thought, darn, I've got to make that. I love puddings, I love sticky, I love toffiness, so let's go for it. Additionally, the director of Wallace & Co, Greg Wallace, who's a co-host on MasterChef, we've been uh, having some banter on Twitter, this is a uh, address if you want to follow him and share the banter about rugby actually I really like Bristol Rugby Club and I'm trying to convert him he likes rugby so Greg Bristol Rugby you know it makes sense we need we need your support anyhow these all the ingredients I've got I've just sort of scanned it there on the newsletter I got all of the recipe ingredients were doubled so I think it was for like a family of 20 or something like that um, so I've halved it because there's only a couple of us here and uh, we'll see how we get on but um, these are all the ingredients if you want to just write them down and make a note but anyhow let's just get on with it what I've got there is my water simmering away which it tells me to do and I'm going to shove these dates in there now the dates I've never opened a pack of dates before but they have this like weird spear thing in can you see that? It sort of comes with that and you're like, Ew. kind of like a dart thing. Anyway, I'm just going to chuck that down there. I don't really need that, I don't think. I'm going to chop these up. Once that water's up to a temperature, we chuck those in there apparently. So uh, let's get going, shall we? Groovy. Okay, so I've just finished slicing up my dates and they are there, my friends, nicely piled. And to my surprise, there's actually a stone in the middle of the dates. I didn't actually know that because I've never had dates before, but um, yeah, maybe that's what that random stick thing was for. Anyhow, these are really, really sticky. When you're cutting it, be careful because like, your hands might just stick together and things might be like that. So anyhow, just shove them in this pan right now. Look at this, guys. It's doing something. I'm not sure what, but I think it's kind of like softening a bit. So uh, I guess that's a good thing, right? Anyhow, grab yourself a bowl like this and put in your butter. Amazing. That's all dumped in there. Kind of room temperature. Does look a little bit like Cornish ice cream if you look at it with a squinty eye. Kind of like that. But uh, you don't want to do that. Grab yourself your brown sugar and pour that in too. All I'm going to do now is grab ourselves a wooden spoon and cream it together. So uh, let's do that. Let's beat away. Okay guys, so what I'm doing is I've got a big wooden spoon like that and I'm just mixing it all around and it's nearly there actually already because that butter was at room temperature so that kind of helps that. Cha-ching. Yeah, take a look at this. This is nearly there already. All creamed together. A little bit to go. Let's check on the dates. Ooh, it's kind of cool. <laughs> it smells a bit like alcohol. I'm kind of intrigued. We'll see what happens. Yeah. Yeah, so that's all nice and creamed together, loving that. And I've got my eggs and split them into three glasses like that. Kind of like how you'd imagine if you were a bodybuilder and you've got your, your dinner lined up at home and you just live off eggs, kind of like that. So what we're going to do is add those eggs a little bit at a time. So yeah, one, in like so, and we'll stir it around. Cool, so that's all in there and it has loosened up quite a bit. So I'm just going to repeat the process again with my other eggs. Another one, straight in there. Yeah, that's not too complicated. You get the idea, right? Mm-hmm. Right, so all my eggs are in there, looking good, and the dates, by the way, check this out, it's really into a funky little paste now, there's a couple of lumps still in there, but check that out, I, you know, I've never really done that before, that's, that's kind of exciting. Anyhow, we're going to go grab our flour and baking powder now, and join it into that bowl party that's going on right there. You know what I'm saying, that one. Cool, so the flour's on there, and I want it to act like a bit of a raft now, because I want my baking powder, I'm just going to sprinkle it on there, like so, cha-ching, straight out of my shot glass, like that, and work it in, yeah. Let's do that, and can you hear that in the background? I've taken the deep, the deets, the dates off the heat, and they're just cooling down for a bit there. I'm loving it. I'm loving it. It's all going quite swimmingly well. Yes. Okay, so the flour and baking powder is all folded in. I've just started doing this swirly thing for no reason. I'm just finding it quite soothing. Yeah, it's kind of relaxing. Anyhow, the date mixture has cooled down sufficiently, and we've got the sultanas and the walnuts just sat there chilling out that want to join in this party. So this is the sexy bit, my friends. Let's chuck it all in together. In goes the date puree first. Amazing, look at that lump of date pureness. Pureness? That sounds a bit rude. Anyhow, pureness, I meant to say. Let's have a little taste. Mmm. Yeah, that's alright, actually. Lots of fibre in it, I reckon. It's kind of like prunes, so um, might need to go to the toilet soon. Anyhow, I'm going to grab the walnuts. Straight in there, like so. Nice little just sprinkling on there. And the sultanas, last but not least. In they go. I'm going to give them a blooming good stir through, but first of all, I'm going to go preheat my oven to gas mark two and a half. Yeah, that's about 150 degrees centigrade, so uh, let's do that. Right, so I'm going to give this a blooming good stir around now, let's go for it. 
Look at that, well and truly coated, all mixed together in that batter mix, kind of exciting, want to jump up and down. All you need to do now is grab yourself a baking tray, grease it lightly and pour your mixture in. So uh, let's do that. Yeah. Okie okay, doke, so I grabbed myself the tray there and lined it with greaseproof paper. Now, I don't know about you, but I'm a really bad judge of what size tray to use when you're baking something with self-raising flour, whether it's just going to go like that and just spill out over the sides. But that's the risk you've got to take. That is the thrill of making a sticky toffee pudding. Anyhow, let's get the batter in there and see how we get on. Right here, that's all in there. And as you can see, there's still a bit of give there to allow for any rising which may occur. So now I've got to go in the oven for 40 minutes. Spin it around halfway through if you've got like one of those biased ovens. And then now uh, we'll see you in 40 minutes. Yeah. Right here then guys, so while that's in the oven doing its thing, it's about 20 minutes, I've just spun it round, it hasn't risen too much, which I'm kind of happy about because there's going to be funky little slices. Mm -hmm -hmm. We've got Phoebe here, how you doing mate, you okay? Yeah. What, what, what? Who's that? Emmy. Hello Emmy. It's a puppy. It's a dog, it's not a puppy. How old is Emmy? Three. No. Four. No. Four. No. Three. No. Two. No. One. No. Three. No. Four. No. Five. No. Six. No. Seven. No. Eight. Nine. Nine. Yeah, she's nine. Yeah, nine. What have you got in your bowl? Two... Uh, walnuts. You say walnuts? Walnuts. Yes, good girl. Right. Get that. Rolling pin and bash them up. Yeah. So what I'll do, I've got some leftover walnuts. What I thought I'd do is actually sprinkle them over towards the end. We've got to make our toffee sauce as well, which we've got the ingredients for in just a minute. So I'll let those, those walnuts get bashed up. Good job there, mate. I can't do it. Yes, you can. You're doing a great job. This is a heavy one. Is it? Let me help you then. I get the one. Right, so give me Phoebe this hammer instead. Do you prefer that, mate? Is that better? Yeah. Yeah. Finished. Do you finish the view? Are you happy with it? Yeah. Give me a big smile if you're happy with it. Wow, that's a big smile. Okay, calm, calm. You're going to blow up, aren't you? You're going to explode. Right, so my little helper's gone next door to watch TV, but she did finish making the nuts. Couple of big chunks there, but on the whole, not a bad effort. Mm -mm -mm. Anyhow, to make the toffee sauce, apparently we need some double cream, caster sugar, and some water, which we're going to put in a pan in just a minute. The cake is very nearly done. It's a very nice, like sponge, actually, and it smells amazing in here. So we're going to get that out on a cooling tray any minute now. Yeah. Okay, and guys, I've just got out the oven. It's looking nice and golden brown. I stuck a bamboo skewer in it here and here as well. You can probably see the holes. And when I pulled the bamboo skewer out, it was nice and dry and clean, so I knew the cake was ready. If it's gooey, then you know you've got to put it in there for a teeny bit longer, okay? Uh, well, basically until it comes out dry. Yeah. So it was in that tray with the greaseproof paper on. Took the greaseproof paper off and sat it on a tray to cool for 10 to 15 minutes. And I've returned it back to that dish there because, well, what's going to happen? I'm going to pour my sauce over the top and I want to use this sort of lip that we've got here to hold it all in. And it should be kind of funky. We'll just sprinkle the walnuts on top. Speaking of the toffee sauce on there, I've got my water in this pan, which I'm just going to put on a low heat now. And we just need to add our caster sugar and cream. And we're nearly there. Cool. Right guys, so I've just started with a teeny bit of water there, as you can see. It's heating up, ready to go. So we're going to chuck our sugar in. I'm not sure how much water I needed, so I'm just going to leave it like that for a minute and we'll just keep you know, mixing it up. I'll let you know any minute now. Mm -hmm. Okay guys, so I started whisking it together, poured in my cream. When I first did it, it was kind of like a custardy colour, like bright yellow. But as you keep stirring it, it eventually turned brown like this. I'm loving it. I'm going to take that off the heat now and pour it straight on there. Let's go for it. Look at doing so I've turned my dish around, I've got my sauce here, ready to go. Let's pour it straight on there. Look at that, the long pour. A bit like Tom Cruise on cocktail, I'm going for it. Check that out. I'll show you in a minute what it looks like, but I'm just going to get it all on there. Wow. Beautiful, so that's all on there. I'm just going to grab some of my walnut pieces now that Phoebe broke up for me and sprinkle them on top. Let's go for it. Amazing, that is all on there. Nice dusting of that. It's completely optional, you don't have to do that. In fact, the recipe didn't tell me to do that, so it was kind of like creative. Anyhow, it might look good, but what does it taste like? Let's get the little Buddha in, and we'll both try it together. Yeah. Phoebe? Hello. Where have you been? What Toy Story. Did you? What have you got there? Pudding? Yeah. You want to try some? Yeah. No, ice cream. Well, come on, have, have some. Ice cream with it. You want ice cream with it? Well, have a little piece and see what you think on its own. Go cool, look at that. I've got some there as well. Let's see what it's like. Mmm. Mm. I like that. Pardon? And me. And me. Wow. Give me a thumbs up then. Wicked. So if I can make that, that's actually one of the nicest desserts I've ever tried. That's amazing. If I can make that, absolutely anyone in the world can. Have a go for yourself. Let me know how you get on and I'll see you again next time. Yeah. Cheers. High five.